Hi guys, Ed here, and today I thought I would go <coughs> over a little video uh, showing the stuff that I got uh, from Comic Con. And as you can see, this is the first video at my new workspace. Um, total, uh, total new upgrade from my previous one. Um, I'm actually sitting <laughs> in a decent chair, and I have a nice camera set up and a nice big work area and everything, but that. All that's going to be in a different video. I don't know if it'll be up before or after this one, but we're here. It's good. You can see my hands being very uh, expressive, and I'm comfortable, and yeah. So this is awesome, and uh, so now to get on to what the video is actually about. What I got at Comic-Con this year. Comic-Con, first, first a little bit about it. Uh, this was my first... I think real convention. I mean, I've been to uh, I've been to Toracon, which is a local con, and it's all right, but it's it's not as it's not as good as uh, any real other cons. So this uh, this Comic Con was pretty much my first one, and it was awesome. So uh, no regrets. I had fun with it. It was awesome. Uh, can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah. So, let's see, where should I begin, because I did get a bunch of stuff. So, the first place that we went to, because uh, I only went to the convention Saturday, the first place that we went to was uh, Imagine Anime, uh, the store in New York City, right on Main Street, not on Main, Main Street, yeah, Main Street. Uh, I don't know what street it was on, but it was awesome, uh, huge gun plus selection, uh, and they had some awesome stuff, and I picked this up. It is the Robot Damashi Crossbone X1, and if anybody knows me, I'm a huge crossbone nut, I love the suits, I love the Damashis, I have all of the old ones, and uh, I had to get this guy. Uh, I've seen the pictures, and the mold is amazing, and I'm looking for the P-Bandai add-on for it, um, and I would love it, but yeah, I definitely want that, and this is... I've I've already opened this and played around with it a little bit. Amazing figure, amazing build. Total, really, really nice upgrade from the uh, first original mold. So yes, that is that is awesome. So let's see that I got first, and I know I bought like food and bus fare and train fare and all that other crap, but I think I think the next main yeah the next main things I got were at the Bluefin booth, which were. Uh, it was at the convention. Um, I think the first things I got were these Gundam standards. I'm a huge Gundam standard fan, if any of you know me. I uh, love them, love them to death. And I thought, uh, they didn't have many, but I got the two suits that I liked the most out of the pick that they had. The Gym 3 is my favorite mass produced unit, and I love the Zaku, and I, I figured I want to have a Zaku to go with my Gundam. Uh, it's from the same set as the other Gundam that I have. I have this one, the full, the, uh, open, the open hatch one or whatever it's called. So yeah, those are awesome. I've already opened those and little drama. Let me get them right here. I would do videos on them, but I don't know. I just there's not really much to say. I just really like them. So those are those are fun. Alright, and at the Bluefin booth, I got those. I bought, oh yeah, I bought this too. I bought the Assault Kingdom New Gundam. Uh, this was awesome uh, that it was there, because I have never seen it anywhere else that I've seen Assault Kingdoms. And I really wanted the New Gundam, because I have somehow accumulated three Jagans, a Rigazi, and a ton of other uh, Assault Kingdoms, so I really wanted this guy to go with the set, uh, just because, you know bunch of Jagans is just a bunch of Jagans without a new Gundam to lead them. And then they gave me this uh, customized campaign part thing that I probably will never use because, I don't know, um, oh, it comes with a little Gatling gun. But they, they were giving these out for free, which is really nice. And then of course I got, you know, free pamphlets and all this other stuff. I, uh, this is just the Gunpla catalog they give out every year, which is nice. And this, this I'm not entirely sure what it was about. There was a thing there about it, but, uh, oh, it's just, uh, let's see, show it again. 
Oh, oh, it's talking about, like, uh, Gashapon or candy toys. So it's showing, you know, all the different lines of candy toys and different cool stuff like that that's come out. I actually don't think I've even opened this since I got it. <laughs> I probably would know more about it if I opened it. That's awesome. There's the, there's the Gundam page. Beautiful. So, there was that. I got two of those. Uh, let's see. And I also got this at the Bandai booth. First kit. I grade G self from Gundam Recognusta Recognized from G Reco. Um, <laughs> uh, I really wanted this kit. My friend Moki has it, and he did an amazing paint job on it, and I really wanted it. So, voila, I have it. I was thinking about that kit all weekend, and I'm really glad that I got it. It's an amazing, looks amazing. I saw it in the display case, it looks amazing. Um, can't wait to paint that up. And, uh, oh yeah, I got this for participating in the Gundam Builders World Cup this year. And it's just a tiny little Yamato kit. I don't really know anything about Yamato, but it's there. Oh yeah, uh, in Chinatown, and this isn't really Gundam related, but I love it. This is Tom's the Tank Engine Pocky, some Pokemon gum. These are all pieces of gum. And this bag of Japanese soda candy, because the Japanese soda candy is my favorite candy. Um, let's see, there's that. And then this is probably my favorite thing that I got all weekend, and it was nothing that can be bought. It is the badge that they give you for participating in the Gunpla Builders World Cup. And I am so ecstatic about having this. It is priceless to me. Um, this, i my camera, <laughs> this whole, um, weekend, really, and mostly Saturday, uh, going to the, going to the, the, the World Cup, and seeing and meeting so many just amazing, talented, friendly people, um, and just having a total fun time. Uh, I met Strider Prime, I met, uh, Dennis, I met... What else did I meet? I met, uh, let's see, I met Neil, I met, I met a ton of people this weekend, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not mentioning everyone by name, I'm really tired, but, um, everyone that came up to me and talked to me, and, you know, they commented on my build, or I talked to them, it, it was just, it was so unreal, because you never, from where I, from, you know, where I am, you don't really get that ever. And being able to meet so many amazing people and so many people that just love the same thing that you do um, is really, really great. And it's a beautiful thing. And I am just honored that I could be a part of this event. Uh, so this badge is going to be displayed with absolute pride. And I will definitely, without a doubt, be back next year. And it was amazing to meet everybody that, that was there. Um, and seeing all the builds that went into the, case, the cases... Um, yeah, it was just, it was an amazing experience, and I definitely recommend anybody who is into Gumpla and wants to take their builds to the next level, or just, you know, if they, they're confident in their builds, go to a convention, uh, go to a, go to a, go to this, just go. <laughs> it is, meet, meet other builders, meet people that love the same thing you do. It is so, it is so humbling and just mind-blowing to go through an experience like this and, I feel honored that I had the chance to go to this this year, and it's really changed my perspective on a lot of things, um, and just made me more motivated to start doing more kits and start uh, getting ready for next year. And again, you can see all the pictures and all the winners and everything like that on my blog, um, and I think I'll be doing a video either before this or after this, um, showing off the winners and some of the kits that were on display. So, you can go check those out, but yeah, that was, uh, that was amazing to get. So then, after the convention, uh, on today, the day that we drove back, we had to come through New Jersey to get back home, because it is a six-hour drive from me to where the convention is. So, we stopped at the infamous Gundam Planet, and it is one of the greatest places I have ever been. The staff, everyone there, it... it it was my it was an experience like it wasn't just going into a store 
Because I visited probably six different shops that had Gunpla this weekend, and while some of them were fantastic, trust me, I'm not knocking into them, Gundam Planet, they were so kind and nice, and the guy that runs it, uh, Dan, I, I believe, I don't know if he runs it, Dan, whoever it was that was there, uh, he knew me, and he, uh, you know, he, he, he gave us, you know, he gave us small discounts, not because, you know, like, oh, you're famous, or, because I'm not, but he was just, he gave, uh, he, you know, he was giving discounts, like, he was like, oh, yeah, today, uh, today those are two for one, you know, just little awesome things like that, and, um, just awesome guy, and, uh, I can't say enough good about them. My friend Ashley is always talking about how much she loves the place, and I can see why. It's fantastic. They have builds on display. Uh, they have pretty much every kit that you can imagine. They have really rare stuff, really cool stuff. And I walked in with 35 bucks, and I walked away with some pretty cool stuff. So that that's uh, that's what I got here. So first of all, I got the original first grade RX-78-2. Um, this is the first... I think, I believe this is like the first snap together kit that they made. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, it's just this really, like, lime, or this, uh, white green color that a lot of the older RXs were molded in. And I like it. Um, <clears throat> again, my friend Moki, same guy that the G-Self does a lot of, uh, stuff with this, because he buys this kit so much. He has a ton of these, and he just, he kit bashes them, or he does new stuff with them, and they're amazing, so... He inspired me to get that, so I'm really glad I picked one up. It, it was four dollars, so I, how can you say no to that? And then I got uh, I got this Gashapon, and I don't have the box it was in, but it is the uh, Psycho Gundam in its fortress mode. Very nice Gashapon, very nice. It's one of the 400 scale uh, line, the ones that I collect, um, which is really cool, and it, which brings me to my next thing. I was talking to them about how I collect 1 to 400 scale, and they have this huge white base that has all these, like, little uh, 1 to 400 scale Gundams all over it. And I was like, oh, you know, none of those are for sale, right? And he's like, well, which one are you looking at? And I pointed at uh, the one I'm about to show off, and he's like, here, I'll give it to you for free. So he just gave me this. And it's one of my favorite Gundams, and it's the little 1 to 400 scale full armor Gundam. And I love this thing. I love it so so very much. Even the base is awesome, and normally the base is stupid on these. But yeah, I finally have a little 1 to 400 scale Gundam, or full armor Gundam. Uh, it's one of my absolute favorites, and he just gave it to me. What, a, what an awesome, awesome person. So, that's what I got there. Oh, no, 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 I have one more thing. How could I fucking forget it? It's the biggest thing here. I got the high grade Zeong. I can I can't even get it all in the frame. But yeah, I got the high grade Zeong. Um it's one of my favorite kits. I shouldn't say one of my favorite kits since I've never actually built it. It's one of my favorite suits. I really love the Zeong. Um and I've wanted a high grade Zeong for a very long time. And I finally found one. It was, you know, four dollars above the box price, which is just fantastic, so how could I say no? So, I have that now. And yeah, so that's what I got from Gundam Planet. And then, I'd like to say a very special thank you to my friend and pretty much my Gunpla brother, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy is the guy that um, let us stay at his house for the entirety of this long weekend, um, free of charge, and just hung out with us, took me, toured us around the city, and just generally invited me into his home for a while, and he was the same guy that was down here for uh, a week this summer and spent some time with me, so he um, he is one amazing human being. I uh, love, love you, bro. You're, you're my dude. Um, <laughs> so he gave me two kits. Well, rather traded me. He traded me this for um, some high grades that I didn't want anymore that I need to bring him next time I visit or the next time he visits or whatever is the high grade Z Zulu. I've wanted it for a while. It's one of those kits that like I've wanted but I didn't really want to spend the money on it. And he just had one and he really didn't want it, so he traded it to me. Um and now I really have to get the Zaku Mariner because I really want the, the uh, Zaku Mariner. Well I really want the Zaku Mariner. I just haven't gotten it yet. 
And this he just gave to me because he didn't want it. The high grade Jesta cannon, which was very, very nice of him. He did not have to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. That is my Comic Con haul. And again, I had a fantastic time. I don't regret a single minute of it. I love everything that I got, and I managed to spend, you know, not that much money. Uh, I walked away with a lot of stuff, and I ate a lot of really good food, and I rode the bus and the train a lot. And I think I only spent, you know, like $200 in total, like $250, 220 something like that. And yeah, I even got some stuff from my friends, and... It was awesome. Very, very awesome time. And again, thank you to uh, Bandai and Bluefin for hosting this event. You guys, we wouldn't be able to do this without you. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Again, if you want to see all the pictures that I've taken from Comic-Con of the winners of the GBWC, the entries of the GBWC, uh, the Bandai booth, everything, my tour around the city, I've posted everything on my blog, and I'll put links down there for you. Uh, and I really suggest checking those out because I didn't really take that much of a video. I took a couple videos of the GBD, 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 the, G, <laughs> the event, but uh, I'll have to edit those together at some point. So I'll probably do it after this video. Yeah. So I'm home, I'm safe, and I'm probably going to put this video up first so you won't be seeing the tour of my new grand workshop yet. But you will be at some point in the future. So, that's about it. I'm about to run out of time. This has been Ed, and I will see you all next time.